evening and welcome to The Bitter Truth. I'm your host, David De'Aaron Preston Wood, and I'm here today, just like I will be here forevermore, to give you The Bitter Truth, the proverbial hard pill to swallow. This is where you come to swap. No, no, ignore that last line. We're going to press on. Don't get, get your mind out of the gutters, or rather do get your mind out of the gutters, Re reboot. Re we're, we're live? Okay. Recovery. Three, two, one. Recovery. The NFL has its new highest paid quarterback in Seattle's Russell Wilson. Wilson signed a four-year, $140 million contract with the Seattle Seahawks the other night, giving him a signing bonus of $65 million and a guaranteed figure of $107 million. Now, you might look at this and say, first, wow, that's a lot of money for a team that seemed to suggest just days ago that, ah, they'd be fine to move on. They don't need Wilson. They're fine. And, you know, from Wilson's side of things, it's like, wow, Seattle's in real disarray. It's just hardball negotiating people. We always knew this deal was going to come about. But while some people might be surprised by the four-year contract, keep in mind Wilson has one more year on his existing contract, really making this a five-year deal that'll carry him through his mid-30s. Or rather into, I don't care, I'm not a doctor, I'm just here to talk to you, Talk to you face-to-face, -face, through a camera. So, how does this affect the market? I hear you Cowboy fans talking already. Oh, I hear you, I hear you. You're already looking at this and saying, Yes, sir, Mr. Dak Prescott gonna get paid. Yes, yes, we know that the Cowboys have already tipped their head and told us that Dak Prescott will be getting a new contract this week. But, oh, no, 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 excuse me, not this week, this offseason. Oh, oh, I jumped the gun a little bit, just like the Cowboys giving Dak a new contract a year early. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. And, uh, uh, what? Cam camera 2? Uh, why did you move? Alright. It's alright. It's alright. Refocus. Refocus, David. Refocus. Resetting in 3, 2, 1. Well, let me tell you something, Cowboy fans. You might be excited about the possibility of a new Dak Prescott deal, or you might be like the majority of Cowboy Nation and not excited about Dak Prescott's new contract. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you. No, no. We're not going to go that over the top. We're going to dial it back, David. It's only the first episode. Here's the thing, Dak. You know what? No. Here's the thing. Dakota. Can I call you Dakota? You know what? I'm going to call you by your full name. Why? Because Dak Prescott is a fool. A fool, I tell you. Dakota Rain Prescott is an average quarterback. That's what his numbers tell you. That's what his numbers tell you. In 17 games after the Atlanta game in 2017, Dak Prescott was a subpar quarterback. And when you're talking 17 games in a three-year career, you're talking a third, nearly, of his total games. I know what their win-loss record is in that time. I don't care what their win-loss record is in that time. The simple fact of the matter is, without that offensive line, without that all-pro running back, Dak Prescott can't get the job done. Seen. Now you might be sitting here cocky Cowboy fans and telling yourself Dak Prescott has a 66 career completion percentage. But what's his downfield accuracy look like? How many times last season alone, even after he got rolling, even when the team won seven of its final eight games, how many deep balls did Dak Prescott miss to Michael Gallup? How many? All of them? 88% of them? 88 throw up the ex Des Bryant percent of them? Because that's what it felt like. Do elite quarterbacks miss those throws? No! No, they do not. Elite quarterbacks make plays. What Dak Prescott does is check down over the middle. Cole Beasley, Dak Prescott's best friend, is gone. He's gone to Buffalo onto greener pastures where they can circle the wagon. I'm trying to run out this analogy, but I'm running out of steam. So instead, Cole Beasley is going to be helping Mr. 
Allen, whereas Mr. Prescott has a busted down, broken down Randall Cobb who hasn't done jack since 2014. I'm sorry, he's had a couple flashes against the Cowboys since then, but Randall Cobb is not the Randall Cobb of old. And if you think he's the Randall Cobb of old, well then you're a damn fool. Why do you think he signed a one-year, $5 million contract? If this team is so good, if this team is so ready with Dak Prescott, why don't you think that they could actually keep it together? Why do you think they got their asses handed to them? In the second round of the playoffs, the divisional round, that same divisional round, they have not been able to escape since, what was it, the 90s? Yeah, it's been like 23 years since they got past the divisional round. In that same time frame, there are only two other teams in the entire NFL who have failed to make a conference championship game. One of them's the Cleveland Browns. Do you want to be compared to the Cleveland Browns? Maybe this year you do. The Browns might actually be a little something-something this year. Dak Prescott's not that guy. Dak Prescott's not Baker Mayfield. Not Baker, Baker, touchdown, Baker Mayfield. And as a result of that, Dak Prescott is dooming Cowboy Nation to a letdown. So if I'm Dallas, do I give Dak Prescott a $100 million contract? Do I pay him something like 25, 30, 30 plus million dollars a year? No! No, because I am not a fool, you see. I use his full name, Dakota Rain Prescott. Why use his full name? Because he is a fool. There is no reason to pay Dak Prescott that kind of money. And why would you pay him early? Why? What do you have to get? You moved it again? Stop moving! Just stand still! Oh, where was I? Oh... Why would you give Dak Prescott $30 million a season? Oh, I hear you. The market just keeps going up. It's raised the roof. It's raised the roof in salary figures. And every next quarterback to get paid is setting some kind of record or moving into the top two or three contracts. I get it. I get it. But if I'm Dak Prescott, I have to prove that I am more than just a leader. Yes, Dak has made a few plays here and there, but how much has he left? The famous Joseph Randall quote when DeMarco Murray left the Dallas Cowboys, you're leaving a lot of meat on that bone, son. That's what Dak Prescott does. If Dallas were to invest in a better, more... playmaking veteran or draft the next star quarterback, by moving other assets, move Prescott and your third rounder, and there you go, you're in the thick of it, and you can perhaps draft a solid quarterback. Because, believe it or not, there are teams who will look at Prescott's record, his 32-16 and 16 record, and say, you know what? That's not bad. They're gonna buy the fool's gold, because that's what they are, they're fools! Fools! They will buy it all, and they will commit to Dak Prescott for that new long-term deal he wants. And Dallas, yes, you will have to shift your paradigm of your leadership in that locker room, but you just extended Demarcus Lawrence to a five-year, $105 million contract. That is the kind of investment you have made. You have your dogs. You have your leaders. You're probably going to extend Zeke because even though Zeke's not holding out right now, there's no guarantee that he will not hold out. Come training camp. Yes. And as a result of that, Dak Prescott is not where I put my money. It is not where I shake my money maker. What am I saying? It is not, as I, David De'Aaron Preston, would believe, the right move for the Cowboys. Because Dak Prescott is an okay quarterback. And in today's NFL, you need elite to take you to the promised land. To take you over the top to that mountain. Wait, you go over the mountain to get to the mountaintop. To the promised land! That is what you need, and Dak Prescott is not that man. Now, what you need to do is you need to invest. You don't have a first round pick this year. Why? Because you had to sell your soul. Your first round pick 
for this year to get Amari Cooper to save Dak Prescott's ass last season. You can't do it again. You just can't do it. Now, while Amari Cooper proved to be worth that first round value, when you pair that with two years ago's first round pick, Taco Charlton, you're effectively looking at two out of three years without a first round pick. You're going to bleed your assets if you do that. And that is why you need to be savvy. Savvy if you want to build your roster. And Dak is not the guy. He is not the guy. Give, give me something to do. Dak Prescott is not the guy. Dallas Cowboys, if you want to save your season, you need a real playmaker under center. That's what you need. You need someone who can get the job done and who is going to be able to make plays when they count. You need someone with something more than a water pistol for an arm. Pathetic. I am David Deere in Preston Wood, and that is the bitter truth. Harsh truth, bitter truth. What did we agree to call this show? Anybody? Whatever, that's my show.